Good afternoon and welcome to. Whoops, I was checking. I should watch that before that. <laughs> Good afternoon, welcome to my daily chat. Um, this is episode number 530. The topic today is Are you a giver or pusher, receiver or taker? I'm going to give you a four way talk conversation today. Before I jump into the topic, let me start off and introduce myself and why I do these talks and what they're about. My name is Barry Selby. I'm a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert. I help strong, successful women attract and find balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the Divine Feminine. And every day for almost two years, I'm giving a rough estimate on that now, it was December 2016, I do these talks called Messages for the Masculine to Inspire Your Feminine Heart. And this is number 530. Episode 530, which is are you a giver or a pusher or a receiver or taker? Because we have a spectrum <laughs> of how we are with each other in relationship. And this is going to apply not just in romantic relationship, but other places too, because this is a behavioral thing that we carry with us wherever we go. And I'm just going to see how I'm going to frame this. In the um, polite conversation, we talk about you're a giver or a receiver. But there's another level of that, or maybe another level below that, not above that, below that, which is takers and pushers, because some people hmm, are very um, addicted to pushing themselves on other people energetically. Like, not so much giving as a gift, but pushing as a demand, like, you must take this from me. And it could be anything from make sure that you, making sure that they, so they make sure that you like them in the framework they're putting it out or that they have something they want to sell to you, give to you, promote to you. Now, there are people in business who are really good at pushing, and some people who suck at it. The ones who are good at it, you don't notice as much. But in a relationship, romantically speaking, if someone pushes their their, their um, affections onto you, un, unpreferred, and there's a lot of this in the, in the Tinder dating challenging arena, and part of the Me Too conversation obviously speaks to that too. That's the extreme of pushing versus giving. There's one thing. The taking side, because I'm going to give these two first because they're the more limited ones. Taking is a place where it's not so much as somebody receives from you as much as they just take it because they want it. This is ego controlled and it's really negative. In fact, it's more than that. It's actually more um, limited belief structures running behind the scenes. Or oh, there's a whole psychological breakdown I could put into this, but I'll, I'll avoid that because I want to keep this fairly... Um, Succinct one because these broadcasts are usually 10 or 15 minutes. Secondly, I have a um, it was Tuesday night, and being Tuesday night, I have another broadcast at 6 30 p.m. in Venice. So I've got to make sure I wrap this up, pack my stuff up, and get over there to my friend Gina Hendricks. And I'll talk about that at the end, so you can join me then. That's going to be 6 30 tonight. Our uh, Gina and Barry doing it live, episode six, I think it is this tonight. Anyway, side that was sidebar. Let's back on track. Let me go back to let me go to giving and receiving first. Then I'll come back to the taking and, and uh, pushing because the true art of healthy, conscious, growing relationship is a flow, and it's actually like a dance almost of giving and receiving. If you're in a healthy relationship, you both both partners, and this is gender independent and polarity independent. So men and women, masculine and feminine, doesn't make a difference. The giving and receiving piece is energetically about moving the energy between each other which is giving from the overflow, giving from your grace, giving from your gifts to the other person, and then receiving them with gratitude and with um, humility, with pleasure, with joy, all those sort of things. That's the giving receiving structure. Now, energetically speaking from the polarity point of view, masculine and feminine, the masculine energy is a pushing energy, giving energy. And the feminine energy is a receptive energy. So in the polarity conversation, there is a one-way street in a way. However, we individually carry both energies. To make sure my eyes are following the path. Yeah, I was right, yes. So when we're in a relationship, we can move from masculine to feminine with our partners, depending who's giving to who and who's receiving from who. So when a ma using a man and woman as, as a, an example, a masculine man and a feminine woman, generally speaking, the masculine man is giving his energy to the feminine woman. She's receiving it. However, often and frequently, infrequently, had depending on you do it, the partners can switch or shift polarities so that he moves more into his feminine energetically and she moves more into masculine energetically and she gives to him and he receives. That's why um, girl on top, for example, sexually speaking, is where the woman takes charge and moves to masculine to take what she wants energetically. 
Actually, that's taking. Mm. And giving too. Mm, I'm realizing I'm switching myself up in that context. Of course, turn my sex, my mind goes somewhere else. Excuse me, let me get back on track. So in the giving and receiving flow, it's a giving from the masculine side to the feminine side usually. And when I said it earlier, I didn't say it accurately enough. Because the masculine energy gives energy out, the feminine energy takes energy, receives energy, excuse me, receives energy in. The pushing and, and taking piece is where they get, um, how do I say this? It, it takes it out of the framework of connection and puts it in the place of selfishness. Because get, pushing and taking are both selfish acts and not self-supportive, selfish, meaning that they are not about inclusion. So pushing and taking are really how a couple doesn't work together. In fact, how, how individuals work against each other in relationship. There's no um, real um, connection, communion, intimacy, value, any of that stuff. Frankly, if you're in a relationship where there's taking and pushing going on, you may want to get out of it because the egos are just battling against each other and there's a selfishness happening where one partner is trying to take away from the other partner and getting what they want. It may feel like they're caring about you because they're giving to you, but it's more about they're pushing it onto you and like saying, take this without any sense of respect, appreciation or invitation. It's like, take it. Like, you've got no choice. That's not a healthy relationship. So first of all, a relationship steps away from a conscious relationship or a mature relationship or a ideal relationship steps away from the, the pushing and taking energetic into a more giving and receiving flow that's more invitational and more collaborative, more cooperative. Then on top of that is the nuance and the dance of masculine and feminine between partners where one gives, one receives, and it's, a, it's this almost like a, um, also a tennis match, but it's got this end of give and take flow that's going on that's really healthy. So I'm making this really succinct, but I'll make sure you get this point. When I say relationships are about giving and taking, not so. Giving and receiving, I'm really clear about this. Giving and receiving is the educated, the um, elevated, the awakened methodology of connection and relationship. Taking and pushing are the lower denomination, as it were, and it's where relationships suck, to be blunt. So your homework, yes, I'm giving you homework already, is to consider for yourself in your last relationship if you're single, or if your current relationship if you're not single, if you're coupled, as it were, how much of your relationship is about giving and taking in a flow, and how much it is taking or pushing energetically. And I don't mean necessarily about things as much as about energy. If you are in the taking, pushing, energetic, and you want to change it, you can with your partner involved in the conversation, because you can't do it with the other one, you do it together. Raise the standards of giving and receiving, which means communication, connection, communion, and collaboration. That's four C's to play with. You can do that together. If you want clips, if you want tips on that and guidance on that, reach out to me. I'll give you some clues. But I'll put a link in the comments of how you can find out more about my work. So that's one thing. Second thing, if you were in a relationship and now you're single, this is a really good time to look at how was your relationship paradigm? Was it a pushing and taking, or was it a giving and receiving? If it was giving and receiving. Good on you. That's a good thing. But if it was pushing and put, if it was pushing and taking, you might want to think about how you want to be in love. That simple. I'm leave it with you. Leave you to think about what that means to you. Because the pushing and taking is a really um, selfish, egotistical, limited way of being in a relationship. So if you don't want to do that anymore, good. I can help you with that. So a um, couple of quick things. I'm going to write this up quickly because, again, I've got to pack and go to my friends because we have gone live in six six thirty tonight. It's five five ten right now. First, I'll put in the comments... Um, the link to discover a session with me if you want to find out more about how to work with me and also how I can help you maybe get a test drive of my skills and my work put that in the comments that'll be um, first thing second thing is this is Facebook Live that goes into my YouTube channel and then onto my podcast and I'll tell you those in a moment as well um, actually I'll tell you right now Facebook Live gets stored on my business page on Facebook which is Barry Selby author later on tonight I'll be putting it onto my, business, my YouTube channel and all my social media and my YouTube channel is Barry Selby so you can find me easily Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and go to the playlist, which is Messages from the Masculine. You can just, you watch the playlist there. All of them from the brand newest to the oldest are listed right on that playlist. Third, you can find my audio, the audio versions of my pod, of my live talks building out into my podcast, which is on iTunes. I mean, Messages from the Masculine, you can subscribe there and download them as you want to listen to them as you wish to. 
Um, that's the three places. Got that. That's about it. Oh yeah. I'm I'm plugging myself self-love practice because it works. And if you're someone who's single right now, you've been in the push and push and take, self-love will help you fix that. Mainly because when you start loving yourself, you start realizing that your heart is more valuable and you start caring about who you are. If you're in a relationship now, self-love practice will also raise the bar of your relationships as well. Yes, it's, a, it's an all-purpose cleaner, <laughs> an all-purpose uplifter, an all-purpose practice. So if you go to barryselby.com forward slash self-love or one word, you can check it out. I'll put it in the comments as well. So that and the this conversation will be in the comments for you to look at afterwards. Um, I think that's it. I really appreciate you watching. If you have any questions about this broadcast, please put them in the comments below. If you want support in this area, reach out to me. I'm here to help. Um, with that, I will see you again. I will, actually, I will see you again tomorrow at 5 p.m. Pacific time here doing this. But I'll see you again at 6:30 p.m. tonight, where I do my dual broadcast with my friend Gina Hendricks. I choose night to get together, where it's Gina and Barry doing it live. Uh, episode six will be tonight at her place. We'll be doing a lot of Q and A about love and relationships. So tune in there and come watch me then. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you again soon. Bye.